everyone, Stephanie here, coffee drinker, book lover, and reviewer of many things. I'm going to tell you about some books that I think would be good for Valentine's Day or some ideas that would be good for Valentine's Day. So I am actually working really hard on my book business because right now that's the only form of income that I have. Um, and we have bills to pay. Um, so I'm going to tell you about a few ideas that I have for Valentine's Day. And um, it's best to start getting books. If you're going to do a book box or like... If you're in my VIP group on Facebook, I will contact you through Facebook Messenger or you can contact me through Facebook Messenger and I can help you set this up but because not everyone is on my Facebook um, I thought that I would just give y'all a few ideas um, because Valentine's Day can be hard to um, figure out what to do and I thought how happy I was always I always was getting books and like things to do on Valentine's Day um, other than, you know, a bunch of candy. I mean, you can still put a few pieces of candy in there, but books. Um, so as I talk about these, I'll make sure that they pop up somewhere up here so you can see what they are. But, um, yeah, otherwise I'm just talking. Uh, so one of the things that I thought about, I'm clicking a button, it's thinking about moving, um, is books that would like support mental health. Um, so we have these books and I love, I think that these are like amazing. Oh my goodness. Um, they are the Mindful Kids series. And it is for ages eight and up. But I found that some of the activities can be done with younger kids if the adult is working with them. Or it could be for an adult. Um, I have one of the books myself. Two of the books. I just got a second one. I forgot about it. <laughs> I got it right before we moved. So, we have Be Brave, which is an activity book for young people who feel, who sometimes feel scared and afraid. We have Hello Happy. And that one is an activity book for people who sometimes feel sad or angry. And then No Worries, which is the one that I've had the longest, which is an activity book for people who sometimes feel anxious and stressed. Like we have all, it's like a whole series. Um, we also have Stay Strong and Be Positive and Letting Go. And it's a way to help Learn how to manage your anxiety and your sadness and not like bottle it up or think that, oh, I'm not supposed to feel this way. Um, because feeling your feelings is important. And what better time to talk about feelings than Valentine's Day when you either love it or you hate it. Um, we also have some cute picture books for the younger kids. We have Cuddle Bear, which is about a bear who um, gives hugs to make people feel better. We have Find Your Happy, which is... I stopped loading. It says, Cheerful, sl cheerful Sloth shares the way he feels better when he is mad sad, or scared. Oh. Oh, no. Sorry. Uh, I 
Again, it's, I was trying to slide it. Um, in this joyful, imaginative book of feelings, this bright, stylish, uplifting book finds vibrant, colorful illustrations and practical ideas come from the founders of the Happy News subscription based on newspaper. Um, so this is for four and up. And I was like, this book is cute. Um, so we have a bunch of different little books that would be good for Valentine's Day, books about emotions. Um, if you have, if you need any suggestions, let me know in the comment section and, or in the com yeah, in the comment section, and um, I can post a link and it will take you to a book. I might have to ask you some questions though. Um, so I would need to know like how old the kid is that we're looking for a book for um, so that I can help figure out which book would be best for them. Um, we also have Smart Lab toys. That's right, we have toys. Um, and there are several of them. I mean, like all of them would be super cool to have. Like it's an activity, they're activities. So you have um, making lip balm, you have a spa, uh, lab science, <laughs> you have um, architect, electronics, a bug playground, you have outdoor science lab, you have organic science, I'm trying to scroll, um, kitchen lab science, oh, that one looks really cool. Uh, oh, and then we have the teeny things. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I want all of them. We have art, there's baking, there's, I know baking is not available right now. I think it's sold out. Um, it'll be back. It's always back. Um, circuit, teeny food truck, teeny garden, teeny ice cream, teeny science, teeny solar system, teeny sports. Oh my gosh. And then a uh, the squishy human body. <laughs> um, so all of those could be really fun to get for Valentine's Day, whether it's for a kid or for a teenager or for an adult. Um, uh, it's so cute. Okay. And then, um, we also have some activity books that I think would be really fun. Um, we have all sorts of activity books. We have flat books. We have fingerprint books um, where you like use your fingerprint. Like it shows you, hey, if you do this with your fingerprint, then you can create a flower or a tree. And it, it's so cute. Um, we have sticker books, sticker books, we have reusable sticker books, we have paper plane books, paper plane book is one of my favorites, I'm not gonna lie, um, uh, 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 it's taking a few minutes to do what it's supposed to do, we have like trivia question books, we have word searches, my favorite magic paint books where all you need is a little bit of water and you can create art. Um, we have coloring books. We have um, this series called Academy and um, it has like architect, ar architect, not architect, architect. Um, there's science. I believe there's a math one. Um, there's, oh my goodness, more sticker books. There's just so many things. Oh, chef, there was, that's one. We have the escape room books, which are super cool. And then um, one of my favorites is um, we have like the chemistry of cola. Discover and learn with 20, ex with, learn with 20 experiments and then we have um, like maze books and uh 
we just have all sorts of things that would be super cool to be put in a little bag or a box for um, Valentine's Day for your kid. And I'm trying to see if there's anything that I missed. Oh, wow. How to draw. Um, we have different different books on drawing. It says draw an amazing story, draw cartoon characters, draw cartoon monsters, draw cartoon robots. That's cool. Um, we have scribble books. We have a bunch of different... Oh yeah, we have embroidery kits. I want one. How did I forget that? Um, there's the fairy one, and there's a unicorn one, and there's a flamingo one, and it's just super fun. Um, and if you think, oh, well, the maze books are too big for my three-year-old, there is a finger trail maze book, um, which would be really cool. Like, you just... It has like the little indention so that you can use your finger and um, more. We have a ton of different magic paint books. Um, I'm just scrolling through. Um, but yeah, if you need any suggestions for Valentine's Day, if you want something more Valentine's-esque like happy or love, um, I can go through those with you too. Um, feel free to email me or comment below and um, we can talk privately if you want. I mean, you can find me on Facebook. I'll leave my Facebook VIP group and um, the link for it in the description along with my link for uh, my paper pie business page um, so you can look through books yourself if you want. Um, if you decide to be a part of my VIP group, please tell uh, answer the questions. There, there are questions whenever you click to join. Um, that way I know where you come from and you're true to what you say. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to talk about. So um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you later. Bye.